Hello, this is Councilmember Cecil and welcome to this edition of Council's Corner. Today, I'd like to talk to you about budget audits. You may be aware or may be alarmed to learn that the City of Mount Rainier is currently late on three consecutive years of audits. The audits for fiscal years 2017, 18, and 19 are all late. Being late on one year of audits is pretty uncommon and being two or more years behind is rare. Being three years behind makes Mount Rainier an extreme outlier in the state of Maryland, and the state government has contacted us informing us of this. At the most recent City Council work session a couple of weeks ago, I announced publicly that I will vote no to approve the budget for fiscal year 2021, which runs from July 1st, 2020 to June 30th, 2021, no matter the content of that budget, unless the city gets caught up on these third-party financial audits by the time that vote takes place in early June of 2020. Here's the good news. I can confirm that the city staff has turned over everything the auditor needs from us in order to complete the audit for FY 2017. And as information regarding FY 2017 has been located, FY 2018 and 2019 adjustments have been being made in real time, so those two audits will be able to be completed largely concurrently as soon as 2017 is complete. Additionally, we've received word that the 2017 audit will be completed imminently and that the city is in position to have the 18 and 19 audits done by next May before we'll need to vote on the 2021 budget. Here's the news that's not so good. The finance director who was with the city during much of 2018 reported out in a public meeting in the spring of 2018 that Mount Rainier had been late or requested an extension or requested an extension and was still late for six consecutive years of budget audits prior to his arrival in late 2017. This combined with the current outstanding budget audits means the city has operated for nearly a decade without diligent third party audits taking place in a timely manner. To me, this is not acceptable. As the newest council member, I refuse to participate in what is a long-term trend by mayor and council and former city managers of crafting and passing budgets while failing to engage in due diligence. Just about every council member and city manager of this decade has contributed to this problem, and I've decided to draw the line here with this upcoming budget and my vote. At that council meeting on December 17th, 2019, it was suggested that I'm advocating for a shutdown of Mount Rainier city government. I'm not. I also voted against the 2020 budget, the budget year in which we currently find ourselves. That budget passed four to one. Despite me voting no on that budget, for a variety of reasons which I named at the time, the government has remained open. My position's not an advocation for the rest of mayor and council to also vote no on the 2021 budget. My position relates to my vote and my vote alone. Each council member must decide how they want to vote independent of how I'm voting. Furthermore, it frankly seems strange to me that now would be the time when any of my counterparts would choose to vote not to approve the budget without audits being completed, since none of them has made the decision to do this before. Of course, they're allowed to vote as they see fit, and so am I. So to recap, we are three years behind on audits. I'll be voting no on the 2021 budget unless these audits are complete, and as of now, it looks like we're on track to have the audits complete for the up or down vote to approve the city budget which takes place in early June. I know this is a complicated issue, so as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please email me at scecil at mountrainiermd.org. Thanks for watching and see you next time.